What's going on YouTube? A Fills here kicking with y'all real quick. Time for another episode of Ventura Avenue and as you can see Not up yet. So this is another one of those faceless unedited videos, so and this is an episode of Ventura Avenue, so I have to do it like this. Therefore, I'm gonna try to not cuss. Because, you know, I can't bleep or anything out this time. Anyways, um Miami Heat. Really impressive, you know, 18-game winning streak, you know, in this day and age, it's real, like I said, really impressive because it's not a lot of teams who go on a great winning streak like that and keep it going. You now, whether you like the Heat or not, you got to respect the fact that they, they're able to keep their winning streak going on and on and on. And trust me, I'm a Magic fan, so you already know how I feel about that since the Magic are Heat rivals, but I do respect the fact they're able to keep their, I mean, keep their um, winning streak going. But Orlando almost almost ended it though. They almost ended a few nights ago. New York almost ended their winning streak about a week about a, um two weekends ago. Until the New York struggled towards the end and let Miami came back and beat them. So whatever LeBron and Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch are doing, it they need to keep it going because it's gelling perfectly. And you gotta get props to Ray Allen. You gotta get props to Mario Chalmers and the rest of those guys there. You know, they, they find ways to win. I'm not sold on Eric Sposter, whatever his name is. I don't think he's a good coach. I think he just got lucky off of um, the talent he has just ended up coming down there. But, but you got to get props you know, you to get pro those boys. You know, they, they finally defeated Indiana for the first time this season. Because I think they, um, Indiana play, played them twice prior to last night and defeated them. So Miami come back and beating them, which was really good. Uh, I don't know who they have next. Shows how much I keep up with Miami Heat schedule, but they got. I think they have some good matches coming up. I think now, don't get me, don't quote me on that, but I think they have some good matches coming up. And now the question is survival. How much longer can they keep this up? You know, the Harlem Shake thing, they shouldn't have done that, but but you know, how long can this gelling continue and they can keep the winning streak going? That's gonna be a good task, you know. I'll, well, I doubt they're going to be number one seed in the, in the Eastern Conference playoffs. But can they ride this way to the, throughout the Eastern Conference, throughout the playoffs? Can they ride it to the NBA Finals? Not to my, like, I'm not talking about, like, um, undefeated now. Yeah, I'm not talking about undefeated. I'm talking about, like, as in, keep the wave going. You feel me? Like, like keep this good wave going into the playoffs. That's what I'm saying. But, yeah. Not much to say. Not much to say here. I just haven't made a video in about a week and a half. Been trying to, but you know I got busy and all that. And I, I, I wanted to make this about the Miami Heat and the Chicago Blackhawks because the Blackhawks were undefeated. They haven't lost. It was going on the win streak too when I was making my video around that time. I mean, I was planning on making a video, then you know it, I was just not making a video, and the Blackhawks just lost two games. They lost to the Avalanche, and they lost to the Edmonton Oilers. So. So they they win the streak is now over and I thought them and I already knew from the get go the Blackhawks would lose before the Heat would. Cause the Blackhawks don't get me wrong they're a good team this year. Mad mad respect to the Chicago Blackhawks, but I just knew that they win the streak was not going to outlast Miami Heat. You know and Chicago Blackhawks kind of got lucky. You know kind of got lucky in a way. Cause you know one they're not playing any Eastern Conference teams. I think if they would have played a team in the East in the Eastern Conference they probably would have been had they win the streak. Removed before 24, 25 games. Uh, however long it lasts, but you get you get my drift. So this wraps up another episode of Ventura Avenue. I don't know what what episode is this, but you you'll see it on the um, recording. That's it for now. A feels like I'm out, and looks like my computer is going a little further than it did last time because last time I got to um expanding Windows files. It got corrupted, and it looked like it checked it off this time. It already started features. I'm waiting on the updates to install. So hopefully, it's hopefully it's a good sign. I could have, I could have my computer back today. All right, till next time. See ya.